I've seen many things in my Dragon's Path. And sometimes I'm not sure if I am allowed to share it. But sometimes it feels that I have to share it. Because it feels sometimes that it can help people. People who are also on the Dragon's Path have also a dragon by their side and also needs to know everything. So this is actually something from uh, from many years ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah, I can say eight or nine years ago. Um, something that still I still remember. It was like a dream, but a dream, yeah. I know better than it's just a dream. I had a lot of so-called dreams in my Dragon's Path. And actually what they are, my brothers and sisters, is um, they are visions. They are nothing less than visions. And um, many years ago, I had one of these visions that will always stay with me. And it's actually a very simple sight that I had. Uh, I was in a, in a forest, a forest much more older, ancient one with large, thick trees. And um, what I could see in this forest were two mating dragons, two mating dragons looking at each other. So, and I, and I was like, what am I witnessing here? Because by the side, just on a, on a tree, on a dead uh, piece of tree, there was a figure with goat legs, a goat legged figure. It was only later that I could understand that this figure actually was Pan, uh, a, a divine being, and uh, playing on some kind of a whistle or a flute. And the, the music that he made was amazing. He was closing his eyes, he was making music while these two dragons were mating. And then later on, I came to see by my side, there were other dragons looking at this, yeah, mating dragons, two mating dragons. And after a while, the, the longer that it took, I could feel an energy coming through. This energy that comes through from these two dragons. And I, you know, I didn't understand what is changing. Everything was changing. And I could see the dragons by my side and Pan um, were all smiling and happy. They were all like looking at, at them. And then sometimes they looked at me with a smile face. I didn't even know that dragons could do that. And also this figure Pan also did this. They smiled at me and they looked back at the two mating dragons. And after a while, the more that the energy changed, the more that I could feel happy. I felt as happy as all of these creatures that were witnessing these two mating dragons. The energy that came out of these two dragons was so positive, so beautiful, that I came to understand why am I so happy? Why they are so happy? Because they were actually very, very excited for the dragon that was about to be made. The dragon that it was like a ceremony. I could witness a ceremony, but I could also witness how strong it is when two mate dragons are mating. It is like, um, unlike anything that I can explain. It's an energy that comes free out of them that I can only say a force of nature that comes out of to those two souls. And uh, I knew, I knew just, just that these two dragons were creating another dragon. There is something that you need to know, my brothers and sisters. The dragon soul is an Ouroboros, which means the dragon bites its own tail. Every ant has a new beginning. So the new beginning was about to be made. From somewhere it ended. Sometimes so, uh, here on earth, you will also end your tail here. And you, whenever you are going back to the dragon realm, whenever your soul finds the dragon realm together alongside with your dragons, you will not go there just entering and just, I'm here. No, it will go in a ceremonial way. And I witnessed this ceremony. You, were about, you are going to be born out of two mating dragons that, that were surrounded by other happy dragons waiting for the arrival of a new dragon soul. A dragon soul that was about to be made. And so <laughs> that is something also that I learned the yellow dragon, because I could feel yellow. I mean, the energy that I could feel from them was yellow and red, but especially my spirit, my spirit changed into a yellow energy. Yellow, a yellow dragon, my brothers and sisters, is the dragon of happiness, the dragon that is positive, the dragon that is excited. The yellow dragon is the excited dragon and 
Of course, in the beginning, I didn't know what was going on, but I was just as excited as all of the rest who were actually looking at two mating dragons. Uh, whenever dragons mate, it's unlike what animals do or what humans do. You cannot compare that. Whenever uh, the energy came out of those two dragons, I came to understand it's out of this world. It's a force of nature. It's an energy that humans will never understand unless you have an own energy of a dragon. Your own energy. I mean, whenever dragons mate, for example, it is not simply mating, it's magic. It's energy of this pure manipulation. And so you will return in the same way. That is how nature works. It always ends where another is, uh, begins. It always begins where another ends. So the dragon always bites its own tail and you will also witness this again. When, whenever you will be, will be born, whenever you will return to the dragon realm, you will be just a small, helpless dragon, but with an old soul an ancient soul that has seen a lot and dragons know that all of the dragons know that so that is why they are so excited for the arrival of you my brothers and sisters that is what i could see these two mating dragons were just doing this because they needed to make um, a new cycle they need to make a new cycle for an ancient soul and this ancient soul my brothers and sisters is actually we us but not um, not only just us there are so many different souls inside of the dragon realm also waiting for another cycle also uh, sometimes we can do this ritual ourselves whenever we have our partner whenever we have a partner we can also do this as just as well we can also have like this mating like the dragons do the dragon mating to each other you can have a ceremony like this but of course it's not going to be the same like the dragons dragons emit so much energy like i said it's a force of nature whenever dragons mate it's a, a force of nature it's an uh, and i could see pan pan my brother sister i didn't even believe in him until the moment that i could see him i mean pan is a goat legged figure in greece greek mythology and of course, I was not even thinking about him, but he looked at me, he smiled, he played a beautiful song on his flute, and it was, yeah, it was like nature was surrounding me. Everything, it's, an, it's a nature spirit, that is clear. Pan is a nature spirit, and all of these dragons as well, so excited. They were talking to me, but they didn't open their mouth while they were talking. And that is why I understood what is going on, because they explained it to me. Are you ex as excited as, our, as we are for the, for the arrival of the new one? And I said, yes, and whoa, I said this without even thinking. I said, of course I am excited. I love to see it. I love to witness it. I love to, to know when it's going to be born. I want to know everything. And sometimes we can even see this as your own parents, your own ones are uh, trying to create you while they are surrounded by all spirits, excited spirits. So that is how you arrive into the dragon realm. Not like, I'm here, I'm an adult. No, it's going to have a cycle. It's always going to have a cycle, a cycle of life, a cycle. And that is what it is when you have mating dragons, my brothers and sisters. When dragons mate, it's pure magic. It's pure manipulation and it's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Whenever dragons create life, life that means something. Of course, like here in, in this world, humans think that whenever a human is born, it's like a miracle. That is not a miracle. But whenever dragons mate, and it's going to be very heavily strong, it's going to be so strong, my brothers and sisters. Uh, whenever you feel that, it's unlike you've ever seen before, if you've ever felt before. So, but, and of course, it's always going to have a purpose. Whenever dragons mate, it's always going to have a purpose. And this purpose is going to have a deeper meaning. So I loved it, uh, my brothers and sisters. This, this dream, so-called dream, this manipulation, I wish you can feel this as well. Uh, I wish that you can also witness 
the power and the energy of to simply, I can say simply, but it's not simple, of two mating dragons.